And I also wanted to go through some of the questions. And you have most of those questions, you, you are going to have them inside a door. So you can, some of you kind of just want to have them and, and think about them and feed into them. And some of you might even want to like write them down. And especially if you have the 59 or the six, for example, in your, in your profile, you, you might want to dive deeper into, into this one. So the first question, have you had an experience of Kundalini? Do you know what it is? Do you know what it feels like? Um, and, and knowing that maybe you've had it through doing Kundalini yoga, or may, maybe you were born just feeling this current in your spine all the time, or maybe you're holding back and you're afraid uh, to feeling it. I, I know my mom, she was doing transcendental meditation in the 60s, and she had a kind of an unexpected Kundalini experience, which has kind of been there for, for her a lot and being afraid to kind of go. She more had like, it almost felt like an out of body experience where what, when, when I'm spe speaking about Kundalini, it's really how can we have an embodied experience of it so that it's actually nurturing this phys physical vessel and not kind of shooting so that we feel like we're, that we are less embodied. So this is something to maybe even if you don't know about it, you know, to kind of start to know about it because it's in all of us. It's not that some people have Kundalini and some people don't. We all have it. This is what we're made up of. Um, and then start also inquiring and looking at your at your intimate relationships. And there are so many questions there, you know. It can be about your sexual appetite. Do you feel like you have more sexual appetite than your partner? Is it maybe because we say that the six kind of doesn't want to let the 59 in completely? Is there something in that relationship that is bothering you so that you are not letting the other in, for example, because you feel that? So maybe you have an appetite, but there's something in you, in your body, in your emotions that says, no, I can't let you in. But it's not actually about the appetite appetite it's about something else that lays there maybe this is a week to actually come out and be able to speak about that um, I think also it's a week to think about the freedom because we know the 55 and the 59 they are programming partners and the 55 is about freedom so maybe you are living in a relationship dynamic that is like that that is the way it is because that's kind of what you agreed upon or it might not even have been said and I have a lot of friends who are who are looking into open relating or who who are maybe taking a break there are so many ways of living in relationships and maybe you've just fallen into a dynamic or a pattern because that was how you were happy to have it the first 10 years of your marriage and maybe now there is there is something how it how it can change or just maybe the way that you relate to each other just maybe the way that you are making love to each other so maybe there can be a i i know i signed up for for a workshop uh, a couple of months ago and there was nothing new in the workshop but actually just of kind of being in that energy for a couple of days it just opened up a lot in my intimacy so there are these things also would invite like we are evolving in all areas of our lives so also when it, even if we're happy with our sexuality there's always more there's always more to open always more to 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 explore um and also yeah so that, that's the thing look at that do you do you have enough freedom uh do are you able to give your partner as much freedom as you would have and here we don't we don't only speak about freedom like independence we also speak about the freedom of spirit that and that can sometimes be the thing if the if we have this dynamic with the 59 and the 6 when one person doesn't feel free in their spirit or understood in their spirit that can make them actually close down physically to the other so there's so many layers here to to explore um and I feel like the last question is about transparency and I already touched upon it. Like transparency, transparency for me, it's not only about honesty. It's if it's a city, it's, it's more than that. So I would, uh, if I were you, I would really tap into the world word transparency and what does it mean for you? I also uh, believe that there is still the possibility for everybody to go into, I think it's called the 64 words of love or something. And it's what Richard did with all the cities. And I think it's like a four part program. I believe that it's free still. I, I'll see if I can link it. And that's really 
diving into just the city of all of them. And he speaks about them in a certain, it's, I don't think it's a codon ring, but there's a special, there's a certain geometry to it. So he's going to speak about the different cities as clusters together. So to have that inquiry about transparency, and for me, like I said, I, for me, it's kind of the transparency of the cells too. And there's transparency sometimes when I retain water. I'm like, there's something I'm holding on to. There's something I'm not transparent about. There's something that my body is showing me. So to start to, to, start to like widen the, the perspective of, of transparency and what it means and how you can include more transparency in your life. Because it's so easy sometimes to, to not even think about it. So this is a good week to, to actually start to, to invite it in and see the connection between freedom and transparency. Like when we invite more transparency in, like that actually opens up some, something else. So thank you for being with me and I will be back next transit with a 40. Thank you.